I ain't got this. I ain't got this. I know it's not proper English, but what I'm saying is I do not have this life all figured out. I cannot do this on my own. I have to stay connected to the source. As a man, sometimes I feel like I have to have it all together. I look around me, see other men who I think look put together, they got under control, and I find myself comparing myself to other men. I had a few male role models growing up, didn't have one in the home. My grandfather was a good role model, but he passed away when I was in ninth grade, when I really started trying to figure out who I was and who I was going to be. Some of my role models back then were the rappers or the athletes, and some of their lives were just jacked up. And I think so many times as a man, I, I find myself looking around trying to find out who I should be, where I should be. But the truth is, as a follower of Christ, the gospel changed everything. That my new identity has changed. My new focus has changed. And I need to make sure I'm looking to the one who is the source for all things. That I don't have this. Kind of remind me this time I went to speak and I brought my own equipment to see event. I brought, I usually bring my own equipment and bring my projector, my screen, because sometimes I don't know what the, the venue is going to have. So I brought all my stuff together. We got the screen set up, hooked up the projector and nothing happened. Nothing at all. And I thought, man, did I break the projector and travel? Because it was the first time we traveled with it on an airplane. And like, man, did I break the projector? Plugged into the bottom plug, nothing. Went to another plug, nothing. And I'm like, man, wh wh what are we going to do? And then I thought for a minute, let me, let me see something. I walked the other side of the room, plugged it in. Guess what? It worked. The projector wasn't the problem. It was the source. I was connected to a source that did not work. And a lot of times in my life, I find myself being tempted to rely on myself as the source for all things. The source for my finance, for my income, for my family. As a matter of fact, one day I was praying and I, I, I thank God for taking care of the family when I was gone. God takes care of the family anyway. Like, <laughs> it's not me. And I need to rely on the source. So I want to encourage you with this idea that if you're feeling the same pressure that I feel like I got to do this, I ain't got this, you ain't got this. We got to stay connected to the source. In John chapter 15, Jesus talks about how we need to be connected to the source. I am the vine and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And from every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes that it may bear more fruit. Already you are clean because of the word that I have spoken to you. Verse 4, abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. And I think about that all the time, the verses four and five, like that image of being connected. Um, and two things, number one, I have to connect it to bear any fruit. Secondly, I don't have to produce fruit. I get to bear fruit. God is working in me to work and to do his good pleasure. I don't have to grit myself and muster up all my effort to do it. Now I should work, but I need to work through his strength. Like my projector. I, I was trying to get that projector to work, but guess what? It wasn't connected to a proper source. Same thing is true for us. I need to make sure I'm connected to the source, how I run my business, how I live my, run my family, how I do all things that I do, how I contribute to the world is based on abiding in him, checking with him. As I talked about in the recent um, men's breakfast, that the idea that, you know, I got, when I turn and face the world, I know who I am before I turn and face the world. I know who, what my identity is, who I am in Christ before I face the world. And part of it is making sure I'm connected to the source and he is the source for all things. So, I want to encourage you if you're struggling like I was to really be trying to do my own thing. Take a deep breath and understand you are not the source. It is not. A, you know what? That's a sense of freedom. I, I feel more free now than I'm not trying to do it all on my own, trying to produce all this fruit because I can't do it on my own. I need to sit back and rest in him. Not, again, not being lazy, but understanding my power comes from him because apart from him, I can do nothing. Apart from him, you can do nothing. So I don't have this, this false bravado. I got this. I got it all together. Look, I'm a weak, feeble man who needs, <laughs> who desperately needs Christ to lead me, to abide in his power in him that I can live a life that's pleasing to him. Because I'm created by God and for God. He saved me for his purpose. Ephesians. Chapter 2, verse 10, I am his workmanship, creating Christ unto good work, that God has before ordained I shall walk in this. The work that God has for me, it's based in him, not in myself. 
So I ain't got this, you ain't got this. Stay connected to source and abide in him.